Here is a bad news for all the Facebook content creators. Facebook Creator Studio is going to be replaced by Meta Business Suite. Now, is this really good or bad for creators? I'm going to share the complete details. So make sure you're going to watch till the end so that you understand completely how this can impact as a creator. Welcome to Shriram Benur channel. Now, the first thing that I want to say for all the Facebook content creators is with this move, certainly it is not going to affect your Facebook page growth. You'll still be able to publish the videos. You will still be able to see the insights. You'll be still able to see the monetization and learning and all those things, right? Now, those things are going to be moved to Meta. I'm also going to tell you what are the kind of challenges that we may also face. First, let me tell you top 10 key features that are available with Meta Business Suite, which can help you as a content creator. I'm also going to tell you how exactly you can access Meta Business Suite and how to check the insights and other things. So with that, let's get started. And the first thing is, you can certainly create posts, reels and stories the way you could do with Facebook Creator Studio. Next is, certainly you can view the insights. For all your published videos, you can see the views, you can see the reactions. All those things are still available with the uh, Meta Business Suite as well. If you have linked your Instagram account to your Facebook Creator Studio, in Meta Business Suite also it is going to be linked. So that you can see how your uh, reels or uh, stories have been performing on Instagram as well. That is something that you can still see here. Next is you can see the activities that is happening on your page. There is a feature that is called as use inbox in which certainly you can see the comments and also messages across multiple platform. You can see from Facebook pages, you can see from Instagram and also you can see from messenger. So it's one place where you can see all the messages and comments that are related to all this uh, pages and uh, different uh, platforms. Now that's a great way where you can manage everything from one place as well. Next is you can access creator studio tools where you can go live or you can create reels. That's something that you could do. You can keep track of monetization, right? There are multiple ways to monetize your content. You can monetize with in-stream ads. You can monetize with the help of uh, stars. You can monetize with the help of collaborations. All these things are still going to be uh, shown here. And certainly you can see how much you have earned, uh, what kind of CPM, RPM, complete details is going to be still shown in Meta Business Suite. Next, if you are into gaming, certainly you will be able to manage the streaming content and uh, settings for your uh, gaming creator profile. That is something that is uh, specific for your gaming profile if you have a gaming page as well. Next is, now this is not specific to the creators. If you are somebody who is uh, running a business and if you are running the ads, certainly from Meta Business Suite, you can also manage uh, ads manager, business settings and page settings. All those things can be taken care. Now, if you are a creator who give access to other people for uh, managing their uh, managing your account, right, where they can upload your video or something like that, where you give specific permissions, maybe a manager permission or a editor permission. Those are the things that are still available in Meta Business Suite where you can give limited access to your team members so that they can manage your page as well. And the last one, uh, if you have a business and if you are somebody who is promoting uh, the products, right? Certainly you can uh, uh, access the commerce manager where you can put across your products and services as well. That's something that is available. Okay. So these are all the features that are available with Meta Business Suite. Now let me tell you how exactly you can access Meta Business Suite and how the dashboard looks like. So let's jump in. Search as Meta Business Suite in Google and uh, the moment you do that, you see something called as Meta Business Suite. Just click on that. Once you do that, it says Meta Business Suite. Uh, manage all your business activities on Facebook Messenger and Instagram from one place within Meta Business Suite. So just click on uh, Get Started. So this is how it looks right now. Now for you, it might also ask you to uh, enter your uh, email ID and password as well. So if it asks, please do that as well. Now, once you do that, let me just quickly select my uh, Facebook page here, A2C Arts and Crafts. Okay, so this is how it is looking right now. Okay, this is the first impression what you can see about Meta Business Suite. Okay, now to see the inside, just click on See All Insights. So it is asking me to enter the code here. I'm going to click on uh, Need Another Way to uh, Authenticate. I'm going to select as a text message. I'm going to click on Continue. So I would have received a text message. Let me just quickly check and enter that. So I got it. Let me just quickly enter that and continue. Okay. So I have entered my code. So right now you can see the overview, how it is looking. Okay. 
so right over here you see uh, your facebook page reach okay then it shows the instagram reach certainly i have not posted uh, anything in instagram in this particular page from last 30 to 60 days so in that uh, way you are not seeing any results here if you just scroll down you can also see the facebook page followers uh, the gender and other things again similarly instagram followers as well now all this data is for last 28 days if you want to check for a longer time certainly you can select whatever custom dates you want now the other thing is here it says a to c arts and crafts two assets selected okay if i click on that it is showing my facebook page and also instagram account so if you have linked your instagram account to your uh, facebook creator studio certainly it is going to be linked here as well okay now again i'm not going to show you how exactly to link it in this video probably in the upcoming video i'm going to tell you how exactly you can link your instagram account to facebook as well okay so this is how it is showing here let me just uh, close this now okay next is uh, you can go to results again you see uh, the reach uh, right again uh, page and profile visits okay uh, how many new likes and followers okay so all this information is in this next if you go to content you see all the videos that have been published right uh, account sorry 60 59000 accounts reached uh, likes right you can see all those uh, reactions uh, and everything certainly i'm not able to see the earnings that has been uh, shown here okay so this is how you can uh, check your published videos next is uh, the audience section you see the similar data that you saw in the overview section the page followers and other things the most important thing here is you also see the data from which cities you are getting more number of uh, views as well okay so it is listing the top cities for me then it is listing the top countries for me right this is something that is also helpful for you to understand what type of content to create depending upon your audience as well next benchmarking uh, if you come to benchmarking so the beauty here is you can uh, select similar pages that are like yours and see how exactly your page growth is compared to theirs okay now say for example i have added a five minutes craft here which is showing uh, page likes and other things right it is related to that okay now again they have published around 204 videos i have published 14 uh, videos all you need to do is for you to compare just click on add business now say for example i'm going to search as uh, arts and uh, crafts okay so let's see if there is an okay you have one more page here i'm going to quickly select that and i'm going to click on finish okay see it is going to show with respect to this particular uh, facebook page that is there how exactly my page likes are okay so my page likes are uh, 1 lakh 53000 they have 1 lakh 36000 so page like change uh, 41 and uh, for them it has been dropped by 54 uh, Again, we have published 14 videos. They have been published uh, four videos. So this is how you get an idea on how you can compare your Facebook page with other uh, Facebook pages as well, which are in the similar niche. Okay. So this is where you can add that particular uh, page and show it as well. Again, at the bottom, you have uh, notifications. Okay. You can see all the notifications uh, that you would have got. You can see here, uh, this is the notification that I have got on my messenger. This is on my... Uh, uh, this is on my Facebook page, right? In the same way, uh, right? So it is listing all those things in one place. Okay. So this is something that we are able to see here. Now, let me just quickly come back, uh, close this. Now, again, if you click on this, uh, all tools, you can see all the other, uh, tools also that are available to run the ads, right? Uh, business settings, uh, account quality or ads reporting insights, uh, event manager, everything is there. Okay. So this is where you find all the related tools to run your business as well. If you are having a business as well, right? So this is specific to the creators. Now, one thing is I don't see the monetization section here. I don't see the uh, sounds where we can get it as in the music's where we can get it. I feel that is something that will, they will uh, slowly add before uh, shifting to meta business suite. Now coming to one major challenge that we creators may face since all of the features have been given in one place. It might be difficult for us to understand where exactly to make what changes or how to access the particular features as well. So that is going to require good amount of learning time as well. Now, second thing is 
Facebook Creator Studio in itself had quite a good amount of challenges. Again, we had challenges in uh, scrolling through the left section, section or the mid section, right? And again, even though we use music from Facebook Creator Studio, at times we got the copyright claims. I hope all these challenges are going to be resolved with Meta Business Suite. So this is the information that I wanted to share. I hope this video was informative. If yes, please do like and if you are not already subscribed, please do subscribe as well. I have given a playlist here that can help you to grow your Facebook page. Click on this link to watch more related videos related to Facebook. Again, if you have any questions related to Facebook, just comment below. I will be more than happy to answer. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye for now.